Hi and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today we're going to be doing the daily reading for Thursday, February 18th, 2021. And today is a day that's ruled by the throat chakra and guided by D-E-A-T-H. And this is the beginning of a new 13-day wave spell today. And so the energy, the galactic signature of today, which is the White Magnetic World Bridger energy, is going to be the overriding theme for the next 13 days. So from now until the 3rd of March, the, from now until the 3-3 portal, essentially, we're in this uh, White Magnetic World Bridger energy, which that World Bridger quality is really cool uh, leading up to the energy of the 3-3 portal. So I like that a lot. And so the White Magnetic World Bridger energy is all about equalization, D-E-A-T-H, and opportunity. And so it's this understanding of D-E-A-T-H as the great equalizer. This is something that we all share and we all have in common as as spiritual beings having this human experience in this human experience the vehicle the body d-i-e-s is and so uh it's this process of knowing and understanding that and that's part of what you that is an, a collective experience that unifies us we are all born and we all d-i-e at least in this physical vessel we understand of course that our energy always exists that continues on but it but this particular vehicle does not and so when we understand this we appreciate the life that we have and the experience of that so much more it becomes this great opportunity for us to really appreciate and truly live our lives to the fullest the uh, magnetic tone is all about unifying and attracting our purpose and so d-e-a-t-h is a great unifier it's an energy that can bring us together because it is a collective experience this energy also talks about about all of the the ego d-e-a-t-h and that process and how we're constantly allowing things to die so that other things can be created and other things can be born and so today really asks us to look at that it really asks us to see what within our reality is ready to die so that we can then begin anew begin fresh we can then move forward we it's that energy of releasing releasing what we no longer identify with what no longer serves us so that we can move into the the next thing the next thing that does right i really like this quote on the bottom it says when you know that you are only wearing the body which can be destroyed that you are the reality which activates the body and cannot be destroyed how can you be afraid and so that's it's a liberating energy when we understand that right when we we understand that we have a certain amount of time in this physical vessel but we have an un unlimited time right we are unlimited and so it's like okay so how can i have fun with this and make the most of this physical experience knowing of course that it's one of many many experiences and that it is not the be all end all right uh so that's sort of like that's the way to the fun opportunity and it's really seen and and um seeing and noticing and paying attention to what is ready to move out of our reality and just allowing that and letting that go so it's very much a phoenix energy that we're in right now which is really beautiful and really fun the affirmation for today is i unify in order to equalize attracting opportunity i seal the store of d-e-a-t-h with the magnetic tone of purpose i am guided by my own power doubled and the astrology that we have going on today and oh yeah i also just want to i want to point out actually before we get into that they're reminding me and so with this energy it's really when we we unify and then we all uh, we begin as we see that we are part of a collective we are then able to see and understand how our energy can impact the collective in a positive way and we get more in touch with our purpose because we understand purpose is a greater thing right it has a greater meaning and so when we understand how we are all part of this one consciousness this part part of this one whole it then begins we begin to feel a sense of purpose we understand that we have a very important and significant place within this whole and then we begin to attract that purpose to us like a magnet and so it's really about attracting that purpose and so in this next 13 day wave spell we're being asked to to look at what's ready to die what's ready to transform 
so that we can then move closer to our purpose? What aspects of us are looking to DIE so that we can become more, more unified with our purpose and we can attract that purpose more magnetically? Because the more we, we step into our authentic light and become and release what is not us so that we can become more of what is us, the more powerfully our purpose is attracted to us. So that aspect of this energy, very important as we're moving forward. All right. And so today for the astrology, the, we are in Pisces season. The sun has transitioned into Pisces. And so this is a very feeling energy. This is very intuitive energy. This is that energy that understands and really taps into the collective and, and that, that energy of service, that energy of being of service to that greater whole to that greater collective and so we're really feeling those energies this is a very mystical a very uh very kind of esoteric fun sort of time that we're in when we're in pisces season and it as absolutely is also a great opportunity to be look looking at and understanding duality right Pisces is one of the signs of duality. We see it with the two fish. And so really, as we move into Pisces season, this is also, it's teaching us how to be more empathetic. It's teaching us how to tune into our intuition more, how to utilize our psychic senses, how to be part of that collective whole, how to have compassion and empathy for others. But it's also teaching us how to balance our energies, how to balance. It's like I'm being, I'm thinking of the, uh, the card in the Moonology deck of balancing spirituality and practicality. It's the yin and the yang, right? It's it's the masculine and the feminine. It's the physical and the spiritual, the mental and the emotional. All of these different aspects of our lives and how it, and ourselves and how it is that we balance those, how it is that we bring those into harmony so that we can be swim those two fishes swimming in harmony. I'm seeing them just sort of like swimming kind of like like this, like we like to do with the uh, the DNA strands and the, the masculine and the feminine energies, this little fun motion here. I see the fish swimming together like this. And so that's what we're that's what we're looking for. Um, and also working with, with these energies of Pisces season. And so really sinking into that deep intuitive place, that place of spiritual connection. Our spirituality will be very, very much an emphasis as we move into Pisces season here. We still have the moon in Taurus today. And we have the moon making an in uh, conjunction with Mars today. So this is a very... This is a very active energy. Our emotions are really being activated with this conjunction. We may be feeling a little feisty with this energy. Uh, it's in the sign of Taurus, especially. This is very much the energy, kind of like we talked about the other day. I want when I want, when I want it, how I want it. And so we want to be careful of that. We want to utilize this activation energy. And uh, especially where our purpose is concerned, because we also have the moon making a sextile to Neptune. And a there's something else. There's a there's a relationship with Pluto. Pluto is in the mix here somewhere. I thought. Uh, am I on the right day? Yes, I am. Well, I thought there I thought there was there was a trine to Pluto, but I'm not seeing it now. So I may not have been fully awake when I was uh when I was looking up the astrology this morning or last night, as it were. But it is it is definitely making that sextile to Neptune, and so that is bringing in some of that that um that higher vision. That, that Neptunian, that Piscean energy, that's, that's bringing a strong influence of that and really amplifying that Piscean energy. And so we can definitely utilize that to work on divinely inspired action. And just be aware, if we are feeling, if we are being a little stubborn, if we are being a little stuck in our ways, a little obstinate, uh, just to pay attention to that and notice that. And um, as always, remain open to, to different viewpoints and different different understandings and understand that like our universe does revolve around us, but not everybody else's does. That's sort of the energy uh, that we want to take into consideration today. We also have the moon making a square to Venus. And so this may this energy may put a strain on our relationships a little bit. We may be feeling a little torn between what we want to do and like what 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 puts us into harmony with the other people in our lives uh so we just want to pay attention to that be aware of that as we're navigating and we're writing up these energies today as i'm looking now i'm seeing that the moon is also conjunct uh true black moon so that must mean let me look at my chart here uh where are we uh, 
Yeah, the moon the moon is sort of like right in between. It's a few a couple degrees away from and it of course the moon moves fast. So it will be exactly conjunct to Mars at some point. And it was exactly conjunct to true black moon a little bit earlier this morning. Uh very early this morning possibly so in the middle of those two energies right so we're really we're not appreciating uh especially with this activating energy we're not appreciating anywhere where we feel like people or situations are holding us back today uh for some people this could also have to do with finances like we're really kind of we're wanting to uh we're, we're resistant to that energy and we're really wanting to move forward on our terms today. And so we want to just look at the ways that we can do that productively and ensure that we are being as fair and balanced as possible in our interactions with other people as we move through this energy and just paying attention if any T-R-I-G-G-E-R-S's -T come up, uh, what that's showing us and what that's teaching us uh, so that we can we can utilize that knowledge in a productive fashion as well. All right, let's get into the cards and see what the cards have to say this morning. And I wanted to pull a couple Archangel Power Tarot cards. <sighs> Clear. Uh, energies for today. Uh, Thursday the 18th, as it were. We got two days until Mercury Stations Direct, you guys. Two days. We have the Eight of Michael coming up first. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So once again, this energy of making changes coming out. Of setting ourselves free from whatever it is that's holding us back. We have that that um, Saturn Uranus square going on still as well. And that is actually, that was exacting yesterday. And so we're moving, we're on the other side of the flow of that right now. And remember, this is hap exacting three times throughout 2021. Check out the Uranus square Saturn video for more information on it. It's a big energy that we're dealing with this year. And so we're feeling that ac acutely the weeks before and the weeks after. But, and, but they're never going to be so far from each other that we're, excuse me, that we're not feeling this energy at least a little bit throughout this entire year. And into 2022, because uh, December 24th is the final exact square of these two planets. And so we're going to be feeling that energy into January of 2022 as well. So a big energy that we're dealing with that really is asking ourselves to set ourselves free. And to, to embrace more of our soul light, to set, set ourselves free, to understand and really look at what's not working and find solutions to make it work. And those solutions could be within the realm of keeping that thing in our lives. And they could also be in the realm of releasing those things, right? With this world bridger, bridger, bridger energy, letting those things D-I-E. And so, yeah, for some people, the things that we're needing to set ourselves free from uh, involve a lot of courage, involve a lot of courage and it's this not seeing things clearly is really coming through strongly and we want to be aware of this throughout pisces season two because pisces is ruled by neptune which is also the planet of illusion and so we want to we want to seek that clarity with all of this energy in aquarius it's been helping us to gain a deeper level of clarity especially when we had that stellium right around the new moon which is slowly breaking up but we still have some planet we still have planets in aquarius uh we still have uh, mercury and Pallas. And so uh, these two very much mind plant planets are, I see Paulus very much about the mind. Paulus is about a lot of things, but I definitely feel it as that. That's what I connect when I, when I read for Paulus. I connect it with a lot of that mind, that, that balancing the logic and the intuition, that strategy, that seeing, uh, seeing and understanding and being able to put things together. So throughout Mer Mercury retrograde, I feel like too, in Aquarius, we've been in this process of things becoming more clear, but we're still in that process and there could still be aspects of a situation I'm feeling for people today that you're not fully seeing clear and so this this eight of michael card archangel michael is here like telling you like first of all you can ask him for assistance with with clarity uh today but it's just like be aware of that in your situations in your interactions with this energy with the moon conjunct mars and um true black moon all of this stuff that we have going on like we said the sextile coming in from uh neptune which is an activating creative psychic energy but it can also sometimes be an illusionary an illusory energy and so we want to pay attention to that we want to notice where it is that we may still be lying to ourselves and where we can allow ourselves this is like acceptance of the truth I feel like for a lot of people right now, it's this energy of there's some truth that we're not accepting and wherever, whatever that is, we're being asked to be courageous enough 
to see that truth for what it is and then to take the ACTION that we need to take around that in order to set ourselves free and liberate ourselves from that energy. It's like I'm feeling like the devil energy coming through from the from the uh, the tarot. All right. Next card out is the magician, right? As soon as we set ourselves free, we have all the power. This is us having dominion over our reality. This is also reminding us, right, that our thoughts and our energy and our vibration is creating our reality all the time. And so anything that we created, we can uncreate as well. And that's that world bridger energy is seeing what's ready to be uncreated something so that something new can be created. As soon as we let go, as soon as we take those courageous steps to, to shift our situation, we are we're in this incredible manifesting energy i feel like a lot of people are kind of in both right now you're in this potent manifesting energy but you're also in this energy of kind of holding on or not seeing something truly for what it is which is diluting your ability diluting this powerful manifesting energy that we are working with right now that you're working with right now so if you can see that more clearly on and address it accordingly then you can really begin to make some incredible strides and it's going to be almost like magic the way that things fall into place once that last final thing is realized and understood and then we have the seven of Raphael. time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take action a need for detoxification yeah once we once the truth is revealed to us it's i almost feel like the magician is like magically revealing the truth so for some people um, this, there may be a truth that is being revealed to you today, something that you weren't seeing clearly that now all of a sudden you do. And, um, there's going to be, there's a level of detoxing of detoxification that happens after this process. There's a level of that's that releasing that purging, right? And, uh, but, if, uh, once, once it's revealed to us, right. And we, we begin this process of releasing, like that's part of the decision. That's for a lot of us, that's what the decision is, 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 is releasing our attachment to a situation, to a thing, to a person, to a substance, whatever this is, whatever that D-E-V-I-L energy is for you, uh, releasing our attachment from that, a belief, a way of believing, a way of perceiving, and then taking action on what we want. It's like we see I, in, in some areas of our lives right now, we're being shown what we don't want so that we can move, move more deeply into what it is that we do want. But we have to take the steps around around uh, removing what we don't, shifting what we don't. And for some people, this is literally a shift in perception and perspective that, that begins to set this whole ball into motion here. And then we have the Queen of Gabriel. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. Right? So there's a lot of empowering cards here. Right? Be clear on what you want and take action. You can do anything right now. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear, right? The ability to attract helpful people. So there's a lot of beneficial energy coming in. After we see the situation clearly, it's like, I feel like we're stuck on, there's something that we're stuck on and we can't quite let it go. We can't quite even, for some of us, we don't even realize that we're stuck. But it's like that. So that's going to be the realization and the shift coming through for some people today is realizing that we were stuck where we thought we, we didn't realize that we were. And just the realizing and understanding that we're stuck helps to shift the energy and switch everything up. And um, for people who are, yeah, who are feeling sort of stymied in their creation process, their manifestation process right now, this is also talking about the need to really be clear about what it is that we want. And this actually, I think, came up in the reading that I was doing for the White World Bridger Energy too. So it's pretty cool about getting really clear on what it is that we want to create making a list, making a list, listing it out. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I need. And, and okay, putting that out there to the universe, like, all right, so please provide. This is what I want. This is what I need. Show me how to get it. And then for a lot of people, it's like when you're able to do that and get really clear, this is all about getting clear, getting clear about the, the way where it is that we're not seeing things for what they are, getting clear about what we don't want, getting clear about what we do want. And getting clear about our power to make that happen in concert with the universe, right? And so when we do that, when we get clear, when we really decide, when we make that decision to go all in, that's what I'm feeling too. It's like whatever it is that you want, I think and that may be something that some people aren't seeing clearly either. It's like they feel like they're all in, but they're not. 
And so when you make that decision to go all in for whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, that you're trying to create, once you do that, that's when things really begin to unfold. It's like some people were standing one foot in, one foot out, not realizing that one foot is still out. And so it's like taking both feet and planting them firmly in. And once we do that, that unleashes the magic. Things begin to unfold rapidly and powerfully. And uh, yeah, we, we feel that ability to take ACTION and we do attract the people and the situations and the resources that we need in order to achieve that, which is awesome energy. Yeah. And then just... Uh, <laughs> Just really driving that point home here. We have the Nine of Michael and the Page of Gabriel. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. And follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and, and adventure. So release your worry. Think about what you do want, not what you don't want. The universe does not understand don't. What we put our attention and our intention on is what we get, period. So we want to really be thinking, don't think about all the things that could go wrong. Think about all the things that could go right and really capitalize on that energy. Release any of those. This is part of that detoxification process that needs to happen is the releasing of regret, guilt and worry. That is doing nothing productive except holding us back. So it's we practice forgiveness. We practice acceptance. We practice tolerance. We practice and we really, we don't just practice it outward toward other people. We practice that with ourselves, with all of the situations in our lives. And we watch them transform. Release that. Do not hold on to those emotions. That's that detox that needs to happen. Right? And as we release all of that and follow our passion... It's like people are worried People are worried about following their passion. They're worried about whether it's going to work out. They're worried about whether they're supported. They're worried about whether they're ready for it. You are ready. You are supported. It will work out. It is time. Allow yourself that gift of living your best and most incredible life because you are worth that and you deserve that. That is what you came here to do. That is what you are meant for. And so it's like us really realizing that. And then it's like I see the staff here just like lighting the way, right? That's the lights that's getting turned on inside of so many of us today, which is really beautiful, really, really powerful, beautiful energy. And this is, once again, we can see this with that positive aspect of Mars conjunct the moon coming through with that sextile to Neptune, of course, just gorgeous, gorgeous energy. And that square to Venus is all of our st unnecessary stress and worry. It's all of that um, worry about finances, worries about relationships, whatever it is. Release that worry. Let it go. Release that guilt. Forgive yourself. Forgive others and move on. That is the energy coming through today. Detox from all of that. Allow yourself to feel it, to heal it, but flush it out. If you guys want assistance with this, please reach out to me. I offer uh, my Bell Vespa test sessions can be really powerful in doing this. If we really want to get into the nuts and bolts and specifics of what, what's holding you back, we can do some theta healing. There's a bunch of different things that we can do. We can also do, re uh, do personal readings. So my email is in the description box below. Please reach out to me. Yeah. And then I love how in this five of Ariel, which would be typically the five of pentacles, it says you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies, right? It's time for us to unplug from that. No more self. The self-fulfilling prophecies that we want to be propagating are the positive ones, the abundant ones. So focus on that. Focus on what you want more of and watch that multiply. If you focus on what you don't we want, you're going to watch that multiply as well. So we don't want to be doing that. And this is this helpful energy coming through twice. So this is like your angels coming through to tell you that they're helping you, that they've got your back. This is them sending you people and opportunities and situ uh, situations that will help and assist you. So be open to receiving that assistance today in whatever form that comes through and ask that you be able to recognize that assistance when it does come through. All right. I just beautiful, beautiful energy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and for those of you who are in relationship, and that's so funny because the two of Raphael was underneath this card, which is the two of cups energy. It says, uh, wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So openly and honestly communicate with those you love. If you are in a romantic situation or a partnership situation that is that is uh, struggling a little bit, uh, just really 
and remember that's another possibility with this this uh moon mars square venus energy don't give up on those you love that's uh part of this two of Raphael cup right it's like have that honest and open communication stay in your integrity be objective don't allow your emotions to overrule uh to to run you today especially as we step into pisces season and more of that emotional energy especially with this mars conjunct moon energy step out of the emotion a little bit not completely we want to be aware of our emotions but we don't want to be allowing those to rule us in these situations open honest clear clear respectful rational communication and that will provide you with the solutions that you need moving forward in your partnership and then the lover is under that with strength i love it and the nine of cups all right and uh, yeah 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 yeah, and the Four of Pentacles, which in this card talks about um, giving and receiving, um, not being, don't be, don't be resistant to change. Give as much as you receive. Um, in your romantic situations today, instead of looking at what the other person can do for you, also look what look at what you can do for them. How can you make their their day a little easier? How can you bring a little more light and a little bit more joy to their lives? Uh, but yeah, lots of positive positive energy coming through here. Um, we allow yourself to be led by your heart but not your emotions there's a difference we feel into the heart the heart can guide us our heart is not our emotions love is not an emotion love is much deeper than that love is the very fabric of the universe love is an action love is an understanding love is a vibration uh it's not it's 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 much more than an emotion people get confused by that and they think love is an emotion emotions are fleeting love is forever and so be led by our hearts, the wisdom and the love within our hearts. But don't allow yourself to be ruled by your emotions in the communications you have with other people today. Don't, don't, get, don't get into your wounds. Don't get into all of that. Just stay in that, in that open, rational, honest, loving space where you can, you can have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to happen. And... And create solutions, be open to solutions, uh, to solu the solutions that come through as a result. Objective compromise, it says on the solutions card. There may be compromise required. Objective compromise, right? So this is where we're once again taking the heavy emotionality out of it. And self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy, forgiveness, forgiveness, patience. Practice all of that open, honest communication in your relationships today and watch those flourish as well. All right. I love you guys very, very much. I appreciate you so, so, so much. As I said, my email is down below. There are also links to donate down below if you feel so moved to do so. If you like this video, uh, like this video, like, uh, share, subscribe, comments, all of that stuff helps the channel to grow. Definitely comment below and tell me how your day is going. I love you. I appreciate you. I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful Thursday.